Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today it's gonna be a pretty simple one, I think. It's gonna be how to make a number counter that doesn't start from one and that has like big number and that go fast. So basically, you have two options to make a counter in Canal Live. You can do project, generator, and counter, but this doesn't have a lot of options, so I don't like it. Or you can do it with dynamic text, which is what we're gonna do. The thing is, you have to apply dynamic text to a clip. So I have this background here uh, that I got from Pixabay, but I don't want to apply it directly on it because if I want to move it, it's not practical. So I'm going to make an empty title clip so that it's just like transparent. You could do the same with a color clip, I guess, but title clips are already transparent by default, so it's good. So we want to add dynamic text to this thing. Here it is. So you can see here at the top, uh, you have the time code. We don't want that, so you can remove that and select a keyword and you're going to choose frame. And so then it's a bit small, so actually I want it super big, so I'll put it at the top, at the max size. And then I'm going to choose another font because this is ugly. One thing I think is weird is like the default for the background color is 32 on the alpha channel, which is weird but well so i'll just put it at zero yeah, i think that's most of what we want then i'm gonna make this way longer because oh actually one more thing i could do is change the color uh because then we can see it in the black but like it doesn't really matter but i'm not sure i would have it black in the end anyway so you can change it here uh, i'll do like a dark blue that should fit i think or maybe i could do something like this and then make it dark that it's the same shade yeah that looks nice and then i'm gonna want to go like from a year to another year uh, so it's gonna be way higher than this so like i can make it way longer and yeah i think that's long enough because i'll stay in our years and then I want to make a sequence from this. The one problem is you can't make a sequence, create a sequence, when there's only one clip. So I'm going to add another clip right now here. And then select both of them and create sequence from selection. And then I don't care about the name. And then here you can go in sequence 2 and it's here. Um, I'm going to choose where I want it to be, so maybe centered would be nice. And I'm also going to choose the numbers I'm going to go up to. So let's say 2024, because it's this year. And I'll go to, oh, actually, one more, because it's going to cut it off. And actually, one thing I'm going to do is I know I want it to stay on 2024 at the end. So on the second title clip I added, I'm going to copy this dynamic text and then change frame, uh, which is here, to 2024. And it should be exactly in the same place, in the same color and everything. So that's good. Then I can go back to my first sequence and we can see it here. The one thing, though, is that it starts at zero, and I don't want it to start at zero. But since we put it in a sequence, we can cut it wherever, and this part will still start later. Whereas if I were to cut it in the middle here, this would start at zero again. So I'm not sure what year I want to start with at. Let's start at the French Revolution. Because I'm French, so that's the number I know here. And I can just del delete the first one. So now I'm going from like a lot of years, but it still takes like 12 seconds, which is way too long. So I'm going to make it faster. To change the speed, uh, we cannot use change speed. It doesn't work on sequences, but we can use time remap, uh, which I'm going to put somewhere here. Yeah. And then just move this circle at the time you want. So like maybe in three seconds, that could be good. And now it's going to scroll and stop at 2024. 
So I was editing the video and I realized I forgot to talk about something. The counting is very linear, which you don't necessarily want. And so what you can do is since we're using time remap here, uh, you can add some keyframes to make it go like slower at the end, for example. Okay, so for example, I wanted to start slowing down around 2000. So I will go here, add a keyframe. And make it quite fast at the beginning. Maybe even faster. And then maybe the end I'll keep it at the side. I don't know. No, a bit faster, but not too much. So that's the easy way. Like honestly, well now explaining it, it took me what is the time? Is it not recording? Yes, five minutes. It took me five minutes. Uh that's not very long. Recording it, it took me five minutes. It would take you like two minutes making it. Honestly, like it's very fast. Yeah, so I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, subscribe for more. Yeah, that was fast, but... Bye-bye!